Let's start with some very simple bar charts and column charts. Going here to Tableau, you can see that there are two main sections. There is this upper section here and a lower section. They are separated by this line. The top fields are your dimensions is what they're called and the bottom ones are called your measures. These particular ones right here are automatically generated. They weren't part of your original data set. So for now you can just ignore that. These fields correspond to your tables. You can see each one is represented by a field name. And if you ever wanted to see the data set you've connected to in a table format, if you just want to inspect it or check something, you simply have to press this little button right here. Dimensions allow us to group the measures, right? These are your measures. So when doing a, let's say, bar chart, the way I always start is I always start with a measure. And you can pick any one of these. We're going to start with sales, and I'm just going to double click. What that's going to do is it's going to create a very simple bar chart. And what this is showing is the aggregated sum of the sales. You see, Tableau works in aggregates. You probably never heard of that word before, but you probably have used it. For example, an aggregate can be a sum, meaning you're adding everything in that column, or an average, or a median, count, maximum, minimum. If you've used these before, then you've used aggregates. These all belong to the aggregates group, let's call them. And the reason Tableau does it this way is that it's far more efficient in handling large data sets. This data set is only about 10,000 rows, but you can easily do hundreds of thousands, millions, hundreds of millions. You can even go into the billions. And it's far more efficient to show a billion in a aggregated form than it is to display every single point. It's very heavy computationally. So this one is 2.3 million sum of sales. Going back to our data set, if you add every single one of these sales, you will end up with this value here. Let's put a little label here. I can actually just click this button up here. I can see it's 2.3 million. And when we're creating bar charts, which are, sorry, column charts, which are going vertically or bar charts, which are going laterally, it's very easy to control that. I can move this sum of sales into columns, that makes it go this way, or I can move it back into rows, which makes it go this way. If you ever get confused as to, well, which one do I put it in? One of the great things about Tableau is you can just keep moving it in and around, you can swap things around, and we'll have a little bit of a play with that. What I can do with this, which is $2.3 million in sales, is let's say my question is, well, if I break this up by category, that's very simple. I can simply double click category. That will split up that 2.3 million into its categories. I can go further. Let's say I want to see category and then I want to break that further into segment. I can double click segment and that will split it up again. You'll notice this works very similarly to pivot tables in Microsoft Excel. So if you've done that, you'll probably pick this up pretty quickly. One of the great things about Tableau again is how easy it is to use that you can just keep moving things around. Let's say you don't want it to be category and then segment. You want it to be the other way around. I can just grab category, put it on the other end like so, and now it will split it again. I can say, well, I don't want it going this way. I want it going this way. So I can move the blue ones to the top and then move the green one to the bottom. Let's say I can move that here. You can see it's all going vertically, but I don't want to split it this way. I want to split it vertically, I can just move segment into columns. And you can see every time I move something, it creates a new way of visualizing the same data, depending on what you want to do. You can see the higher level is the category and then segment, or we can go segment and then category. You can go backwards and forwards. You can even split this up again, simply adding another field. One of the things you can do is, uh, one of the things you can real, uh, will realize in Tableau is that it doesn't really fail. In fact, I can do this, right? You can click as many things as you like and it will keep visualizing, it will keep doing things. It doesn't really crash. And that's why it's so great for when you explore data because you can just try things and nothing, and you know, it won't fail. If you end up with something super crazy like this, you can just reset the page using this button right here. 
that resets everything so you're nice and clean all over again and you can go ahead and and build another bar chart let's do one for profit as another example and then we'll finish it up there let's bring profit in so again i can just double click that will give me the sum value of everything in the profit column right here if i sum that all up and that's actually got positive and negative values i want to break this up by let's say the state and i can grab state and just drop it into columns or I can double click either way. You can see each of the states have now been broken up. I have some positive values, some negative values, but I don't like having to read like this. Let's swap them around. One trick you can do is instead of manually moving them around like this, which can be quite annoying, especially when you have a lot of them, is you can just use this button right here. What this button does is it just swaps everything in the columns to everything with everything in the rows like so, and you can go backwards and forwards until you have the visualization that you like. That's it for columns and bars. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching the video. If you wanna learn the entire Tableau platform, consider enrolling into my course. It's one of the highest ranking courses on Udemy and enrolling today, you'll be joining the almost 200,000 students that have enjoyed my courses over the years. Thanks again for watching and hope to see you in the course.